play, man, we got a special guest. We can't just put him in the category as yes. He's an actor. He a comedian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The boy a barber. Come on, man. Not a barber. One of the best barber a nigga could see in the come world. On. Come on, man. Marcus Harvey. We got him in come the on, building. Man. Man, 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 thank you, man, thank you, thank you. Man, thank you for having us. Hey, man, I tried to warn them, tell them you were coming, get them a line up. Them nigga didn't listen, man. They, they, they ain't listen. They ain't listen, man. I've been trying to get him in the chair, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I can't, you know, it's much. He's oh, working on man. his first, he look like he on his first day of homelessness. Like, today <laughs> is the first day. That's man, why I got, I got, got fucked on, up out there, man. You know, my rent wasn't right, you know. Hey, <laughs> Morgan, like, what got you into barbering, though? Shoot, bro. Uh, actually... I live behind a barbershop. Like, my apartment complex was connected to a barbershop. Uh -huh. And, uh, shoot, I was the only child, so I just would walk up there, just sweep up the hair. So I started sweeping up the hair when I was, like, 12. They used to call me Bookman. They used to roast my ass, bro. This little fat chubby kid. Yeah. Like, Book. Buffalo butt. <laughs> Bookman. What? You ain't trying to work fat at Buffalo butt. You know, they was on yeah. my ass, man. So I just started watching 12 other dope-ass barbers, you know, cut. At Crosscuts, shouts out to Crosscuts in uh, Gwinnett County. They ain't there no more, but uh -huh. them niggas know what it is, man. They they were the ones who raised me, man. Being raised in a barbershop, you know, you see the bootleg, man. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. Get the, you get the bootleg clothes. You get, the, you know what I'm saying? All hey, that shit. Yeah. The DVDs. You get the DVD, CDs. All that stuff. And then see, they gonna pay don't you. niggas don't know before they stream yeah. the shit. Nigga buy CDs, yeah. but you get a five. You got that big black book, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that thing yeah. folded up like that, bro. Nigga, you don't know what you listening to till you put the CD yeah. in that motherfucker. <laughs> Niggas got laid. They start writing names on that bitch. Dead Get that ass, new Jesus. Yeah. Nigga got to put it in to know. Yeah, man. So I just started, uh, you know, just walking in there, just watching Cats Cut. Mm -hmm. Then got into high school, you know, start cutting your teammates, you know what I'm saying? And then college, I was doing more cutting than going to school. Mm. And they was like, hey, take a break from school for a second and call it academic probation. Yeah. But I took that as a, as a as a sign, so I went to Empire Beauty School. She went to hair school, and then the rest is history, man. Just started cutting. All from sweeping, you done turned into one of the best. Sweeping, barbers. bro, yeah, man. Because you cut a lot of athletes, though. You say you yeah. used to you went from cutting your teammates, yeah, yeah, to cutting some of the best basketball. You cut Steph Curry, hey man, yeah. I got I've cut two I've cut for two Hall of Fame inductions, like damn. Like, who talk about that shit? Grant you know Hill? Grant Hill and Chris Webber. Oh. Yeah, man. And then, shoot, I've cut Dame, Steph, Clay, cut LeBron before. I've Nigga, cut... you cut LeBron before? Yeah, bro. On his birthday, too, random. Nigga, like, hey. Shout out to Nick. Time shout out, out to bro. Nick. Yeah, Time Time out, bro. Bro. yeah when he's here, yeah. He Not on no group and shit. How no, did that yeah, feel, back. though, bro? Hey, bro, it was crazy. No, let me tell you. I, 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 I ain't never been excited. Nigga, I probably went in second cut. Nigga, this is bro. It was cool, you know. I'm not gonna front because um, shouts out to Nick, his regular barber man, cool ass dude from Cleveland. Well, he's not from Cleveland, but he, he moved up to Cleveland when they went uh -huh. back. But he's like, "Yo, man, I can't make the trip. You know, Bron gonna be in town. You know, can uh, can you guys link?" So it was his birthday. I was like, "Oh shit, okay, go, I'll go up there." You know what I'm saying? This is when we started doing the art gallery stuff. So I had a, a piece. I was like, I had this like dope ass Boondocks piece. I brought it to him for his birthday. Uh, but I cut Randy first because they wanted to check and see if I was, you know, legit. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. you know, <laughs> cut Randy first. Nigga, how can we fuck you, know, you yeah, up, bro? Yeah, yeah. Come on, you know. <laughs> cut Randy first, man. Had a good conversation with him. Then I cut D. Jones right after that. And then um, Brown was coming from uh, his massage and I was getting off the... He was getting off of the um, elevator. He's like, yo, man, my birthday about to be lit. About to get a nice barber to cut my hair. Shit about to be lit. <laughs> Talking about me, nigga. Talking about me, my nigga. Yeah. He didn't even know it was he you. He just knew I was Nas's barber. So yeah. it was just like, oh, yeah. that's, that's, that shit fire. So uh started, you know, we go into the room. I set up, you know, and, you know, I got to, like, break the ice. You know what I'm saying? Barbers kind of break the ice. And, you know, these guys are always on the road, so they don't get the, the barber shop experience. Yeah, so right. they were kind of sitting like this. You know, Brown was sitting right here. I was setting up, you know, Randy, uh, Dane was sitting, or Damon Jones was sitting over there. Um, and they were just like, his uh, his security guy was sitting there. I was like, hey, man, real quick, what y'all think? Friday or coming to America? And them niggas was like, they just, everybody started saying different yeah. stuff. Then they started getting talking. And I was like, all right, so best Martin episode. Cat started saying, you know, Martin was, you know, uh, Bron was like, man, that Barnell Hill. And then we just started singing, <laughs> you can take the children <laughs> and bounce them on the knee. Bro, it was just like, I was like, oh, this is a real ass, cool ass nigga. Cause yeah. I ain't gonna front. 
I was not a Bron fan. I was a Kobe fan. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And this is right around that time. So I was a Kobe fan. Mm-hmm. So I was, I'm always arguing in the shop. Man, yeah. nah, Bron ain't got it. Kobe got it. <laughs> After that, I was like, man, y'all need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Bron, <laughs> who you talking about, Bron? Bron like, go. Nah, Bron is a goat, baby. Sure. He's doing his thing, baby. He does everything on the court. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it is kind of cool when you get to meet the guys. And it's even doper when they're like, like cool ass dudes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, NBA dudes are actually like really fly and cool. Like it's kind of... Uh, it's dope that I'm in this like field because I always wanted to hoop. You know, I hoop, right? Mm-hmm. But like, I I was trying to get to the league at either being an agent and it's crazy that I'm a barber. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, yo, I still get it the go same. Full circle. It's go full circle. You know, so how you going how you gonna get to the league? Shit, I'm gonna cut my way there. You know what I'm saying? So Damn. it's just been cool like that. Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy Nav Green from Broken Play. Back at again with prize picks. If you're trying to pop that 1942 like me. You need to get on prize picks. Getting started is so easy. You register for an account, making a deposit, and pick more or less on two to six player stats to win. Payouts of up to 25 times your entry. All first-time users that deposit and use your promo code will receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. If you deposit $100, guess what prize picks gonna do? Match that $100. If you deposit $85, they going to match up to $85. It's available in over 30 states. What are you waiting for? Go head over there to Prize Picks right now by tapping the link below and tell them Broken Play sent you. Download Prize Picks today and get that money, man. Drake 1942 with us, man. Remember, promo code Broken Play when you sign up. And if you already on there, you know the locks. Make sure you put CJ Stroud. Over. I don't care if they have his yards for 900 for one game. The boy get 901. Now nah, I'm exaggerating. But he gonna get them yards, though. 300 yards, he's guaranteed locked. Man, y'all make sure y'all sign up. Bryce Picks, Broken Play. That's dope, bro. Like, a lot of, you know what I'm saying, to have somebody like you on the show, you done cut Steph Curry hair, you said you done cut LeBron hair. Yeah. And that's who niggas argue about now. Yeah, bro. The LeBron and Steph Curry debate. In like, the barber that's show. Dope. Yep. Mm-hmm. And In I was the- cut, and I was more so cutting Clay, too. That was like, like, I started cutting clay. Um, the way that I started cutting clay was crazy because I was cutting Grant and he was doing all the Team USA stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So during the summertime, you know, I would be be like just up there cutting. Started cutting Grant and Grant introduced me to clay. Just cut clay. And then ever since then, man, right before they won their first championship, I was cutting clay that whole year. They won the first championship. I kicked it with them at the, uh, they rap party or whatnot. The next year, I'm still a part of the whole rivalry. Then me and uh, Nick start getting cool because, you know, Bron's on, on Cleveland. Uh-huh. I'm on the Golden State side, so we in Golden State kicking it, you know what I'm saying, in the alley, getting ready, you know, like, yeah, man, it's a good series right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. it's, cool. it's like, this is a dope-ass time period in your life to see, like, I was right there during the time of, like, one of the greatest rivalries yeah. of our yeah. life, our whole yeah. NBA history, you know what I'm saying? Nick. Hey, they say Clay's were, like, really, like, funny, low-key, like... Nigga. Clay is my nigga, bro. <laughs> like when I say, okay, so I've I've cut Steph like two, three times, right? Mm-hmm. But you but cut Clay. I cut Clay. Yeah. Every time I I'm cutting Clay when he comes to Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. We're in the same city. I'm cutting Clay. All star game, all stars. You know what I'm saying? Three point contest. Anytime he got some. Anytime he got some. You know what I'm saying? If it's serious. I need you. Toronto. I got a Toronto story too. But uh, like man, like Clay, man, we was in we was uh in the All Star man. And he had a dope little mansion, man. He was just like, man, yeah, man, just kick it, dog. You give the freshest lineups, dog. I really like it, dog. <laughs> but he, but he be having a chip on his shoulder too. I ain't gonna front. Like Clay, what? Clay always ready, man. Like he always feel like, yo, somebody playing me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> shoot this shit out. Like, oh, he I ready. know he's he feeling up. like that now, man. Cause oh, nigga yeah. been talking crazy about Clay. They been Clay. talking crazy about Clay. So, but he that's what get I rock that shit with him. together. You don't cut him this year. Not this year. That's the re- that's yeah. the reason we done solved this Clay, shit. We already know what it is. <laughs> That's like when he started getting nice. Barber, nigga. He started getting nice. He started putting up points. He, he be dropping 40, 50 on the yeah, cast. He need that line. Bro, not just with sports, even as anything you do as a man, you get that fresh cut. Yeah, though. You it different. don't matter. Nigga, you could be a two as a nigga. Yeah. You get a fresh cut. <laughs> what you at? Nigga, you feel like you a 2.5. That point five. That point five. Turn a nigga up. Come on, man. You off the couch. Winning time. Who you talking to? They start talking to women different. Yeah. <laughs> you say what? I went time. Yeah, yeah. I got a fresh lineup. I'm fresh lineup. Triggering people. Yeah. At that point. 
For sure. Yeah, though. So, nah, so Clay, that's what's up, man. And yeah, no Clay, Clay the coolest. Clay a real one. He cool. So, you said you played sports too. What, what sports you played? I hooped, ran track, and played football. So, yeah, man. For real? Hey, but I was, hey, listen, I ain't saying I was. Killing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, was, I was in the game. I, don't, don't play me now. Yeah. I'll be in the game. But you but you went. You know, there's some stars on the squad too. So what high school? Morristown East, man. Morristown East, Tennessee. Shout out. Okay, yeah, Tennessee, yeah. Man. Tennessee, okay. man. Was a hooper, man, you know. Got a J, got some handles, you know what I'm saying? But got asthma too. So you know, <laughs> <laughs> So that's what holds you back. That's yeah. what really holds you back. That's because that's the first that's time I'm wasted. Yeah. The first time I was wasted in the first two minutes, and they ain't even no strategy already done. I'm already nigga ain't made hard. it past the second quarter. <laughs> ain't made it past the first quarter. First oh, two damn. Uh, two possessions. <laughs> Straight uh, like that. Uh, <laughs> right. Throw it to me. You know what I'm saying? So, so look, real quick, Mark. The first athlete you cut, who was that? You remember? I think it was Webb. Webb was the C. first Webb. one. C. Webb. Yeah. He known for a good... Hey, bro. Of... Before I got there, though. I, were, were you seeing him before I got there? Well, what year? What year was that? It was like 20, 2012, something like that. I wasn't there yet, no. When he first started, he had the homeless, the homeless intellectual look. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't yeah, need he had no the line. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I don't need no, I don't, I, young brother, you don't need no haircut type of mind. Uh -huh. uh, he was once, woke. He was woke. Oh, woke before woke was woke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was super woke, man. Like, like he literally writing books. But uh, man, one summer, like he's coming back. He's like, man, I just want to get fresh. Man, I gave him that. That was when the curl sponge started coming out. Uh -huh. So that's when I started hitting him with the sponge. Wasn't nobody on TV with the sponge yet. Right. Had that man sponged up, and I hit him with the fibers. This one, you know, before uh, everybody was doing like enhancements and stuff like that. Before they start going getting they, out of control. Now they out of control. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now nigga you don't need cut your hair. Nigga already bro. spray. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> spray, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, sound like they doing jabs out that thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 One nigga, I know plug up so many spray the shit. Right. Hey, bro, you ain't gonna spray paint my shit. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah, right there. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna get you right, baby. But, uh, man, got him crispy. And that's when Twitter was going crazy. So they'd be like, man, who's cutting webs oh, yeah, here, bro? Fact. It was like, mm. they was going stupid on that joint. Every Tuesday night, I had that man fresh, bro. So he was the first one. And he's actually the one who kicked me off into, like, the whole NBA joint because... I got Webb, then he was the one who introduced me to Dame because they did a um, a Foot Locker, uh, mm. Foot Locker commercial where it was mm -hmm. him. And this was the dopest joint. Webb's like, yo, man, I'm about to go do this um, commercial in Portland. Come through. You know, I'm going to fly you out, get you right, right? It's a Foot Locker joint. New it's price Dame. alert. Yeah. Oh, they, oh, these prices been up, baby. Come on. <laughs> well, that's why Zoom I haven't seen them. it. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah, I haven't yeah. seen it. But when I offer it, it's off love. So yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know, we just want to get you back on your feet, yeah, baby. Man, <laughs> <laughs> get, then you want to take that shit. We're going to get you back on your feet. That's all it is. Come service, my Come dude. on, baby. Christmas coming, baby. Come on. You got to see your kids. You know what I'm saying? But uh, nah, man. He got me. Um, so it was Dane, uh -huh. Barry Sanders, LaDaniel Thomason, and um, I don't think Carl was there, but it was just them four. And I got to cut all four of them cats, bro. I was like... Damn. Yeah, the price Nigga, went you up. You cut Barry Sanders' hair? Barry Sanders. Oh, Barry. Yeah, I was going to say Barry. Barry got helmet head. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Barry, Barry, Barry got that football head. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? So, and it's still that that fro with the tight line going up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
this is Grand Hill and he drinks Sprite. You know what I'm saying? And like, <laughs> Grand Hill drinks really Sprite. Drink like, and he, you really drink you Sprite? You really drink Sprite? <laughs> nah, he's on the Perrier. No, I'm on the Perrier, man. Yeah. <laughs> but nah, man, it's just like dope, man, to see how like these guys are like real humans, humble, you know, smart. Like, I feel like Grant can run for president and win. You know what I'm saying? Yo, facts. Because they say he was real smart before I remember when he was choosing his school and stuff like that. Bro, his, smart. His mom and dad. His mm -hmm. mom, his mom, God rest, God rest her, man, was an amazing woman. Like, she was uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, roommate. Kyle's roommate. Yeah. Bro, I told them on uh, another show, it was this book. You know, like, we had the book fair in school. They had a Grant Hill and an Anthony Hardaway. It was the... A book together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side the dope, by side. Yeah. So, you know, half the book be about one player. So, I they were just talking about the difference, how they grew up. Yeah. And they were talking about how Grant Hill, his dad, uh, played, played football. football yep. And his mom was, like, you know, smart and all that. I think it was a teacher or some shit. So, I, I read the book. I was like, this is dope. But Grant Hill, the only reason I ain't like Grant Hill growing up, because he went to Duke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he yeah. went to Duke. Yeah, but Everybody was great. Great guy, but he's a dookie. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but... Grant Hill, bro, when they start showing highlights. Oh, yeah, he'll dunk Hill, on you. He's one of them. Oh, boy. Brush right. you up, too. Yeah, me, Brush yeah. you up, had handle. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? And they had the Grant Hill feline. Put so, uh, feline on the map. Mm -hmm. yeah, straight up. Forever I love Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but nah, nah, that's that's big within itself. So when, so after you, you know, because now it was a barber cut anybody had, they'll put celebrity barber. But you a celebrity right. barber for it. When yeah. did you be like, okay, I got to start? Tax niggas with this shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. Nas, man. Shouts out to the guy, man. Oh, like, yeah. Good old son, man. Like, <laughs> son changed my whole career. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, and shouts out to uh, Ramsey for putting that play together. Uh, Ramsey was uh, Nas's barber at the time, and he was just like, you know, I'm about to focus on these shops. So he put me on to um, Nas, man. And at the time, I'm a church boy. I didn't know nothing about I knew about Nas, but not mm -hmm. like, I ain't quoting nothing from him. Mm -hmm. I ain't really digging deep into that, you know, that, the crates, that, the yeah. crates or nothing like that. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? From Atlanta, too. So we listen yeah, to yeah, Outkast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were a lot of people then. You know what I'm saying? We yeah, so it'd outcast. never be like a beef against a Nas, uh, a rapper like Nas, but it's like, we went hip to yeah, it. Yeah, we, we didn't know. We didn't yeah. know what was happening, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? About up there, you know what I'm saying? We just knew about Outkast. We knew about, you know, Dungeon Family. That's what we did. So, you know, uh, cutting him, man, just like seeing the world, bro. Like, I remember we were at, um, we were doing a homecoming for, Buff University of Buffalo randomly. Mm -hmm. just, this is when he was kind of just chilling. And uh, we was on the tour bus. He's like, hey, bro, I ain't going to front. Everybody who's ever been connected with me, once you get connected with me, you like go to the top, bro. And he wasn't lying, man. As soon as I started cutting him, you know, I'm hearing, when you hear LeBron say, I'm about to get a haircut right. from Nas' yes. barber. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh, that is, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, Nas ain't never like, never like, you know, Put no shade on my name, you know what I'm saying? He, he yeah. let me, he let me go, you know what I'm saying? He be trying to make me pull post down. Yo, that's too close. But I'm like, hey man, you fresh? Man. You just yeah. about that's too close. That had, I had one that was going crazy too. It was like like fifty thousand views. I was like, oh yeah, we got love. Yeah. He's like, man, take that down. Oh <laughs> no. But uh, shouts out to them, man. You know, just had a dope team, man. Like, you know, his, his homie, uh, his right hand, Gabe, man, G Code. Mm -hmm. Like, he's the one who got keeps me keeps me plugged. Like, so, man, I've done. Many things I've done, like I've traveled the world with Nas, and that's kind of crazy to me. Like, literally, been around the world. I've been to Paris six times with Nas. You know, I've been to Africa, Australia, been on yachts with the bro. Like things that people wish they could do. Yeah, like you, I'm rent. I'm a part of the crew. Bro, you know what so I'm saying? Look, you were saying this. So once you start being around him, did you start? Listening to the music, like yeah. going back into the yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, you, you know, you got some nice stuff. You know, it's like, and it starts. It's crazy because with Nas, <laughs> hey. not, you know, not like, not like I'm judging it. Like, you got yeah. some nice stuff. Here. <laughs> oh, you know, good job. I can see why people like you. It wasn't like on that. Like, but it was this man like, one of the best lyricists ever. Time, and, like, and now you just like, yeah. I, 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 no, I, I fuck with it. Yeah. No, but now, like, you know, I'll see the quotes like, damn, that's, that's some like, he raps about his actual lifestyle and what he learns about. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Where, you know, the debate was talking about like how Cass was like, yo, I rap about what I grew up in. He's like rapping about what he's experienced like now, like as a boss, like, like how to treat certain situations, you know, how to treat your crew, how to treat, you know, your business partners, how, all this type of stuff. So like now his music is relating to me a lot more than it was. Yeah, I see what you're you know, saying. You know, because now it's like, I can see why some people be like, I can't read, because it's like more so like he's like- Upper echelon. He's upper echelon, like mm -hmm. talking to you like, yo, like get your bread up, get your get your mind up, like 
be about your health. You know what I'm saying? Type uh -huh. stuff like that. So, see, the only thing I never, bro, I never didn't like Nas music, but when him and Jay Z, because you know I, yeah, yeah. I was a Jay, man, when he did Ether, I was like this. Disrespect, <laughs> man, bro. If you ever, he's a villain you now, think, bro. How how these young rappers are now? They'll talk about anybody. Talk yeah. about your grandma. Right, yeah. But before that, bro, Nigga it's two it. diss songs. Hit them up and eat them. Them probably the two worst diss songs you could. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's like damn. Like, damn. That, that, that diss song was like a Draymond Green, uh, Rudy Gobert type move. You know what I'm Some saying? Some of the ether. Yeah, yeah, the ether was like a choke. No, you know that was saying? a little worse than that. <laughs> There's that a Malice was, and Palace. Yeah, that was, yeah, 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 yeah. That was a Malice and Palace type <laughs> shit. Nigga, dang Diddy, you dame dummy. <laughs> like, oh, I get it. You biggie and yeah, he's fucking. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Crazy. Like, why the fuck did you. Jay, now you know, like, before then, um, Illmatic. Everybody will tell you, if you talk about Nas, they'll be like, no, nah, you got to listen to Illmatic. Right. So once I uh on 2K, y'all y'all remember they put uh nah song on there. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, this hard. You go back, listen to Ill Maddie, like it, it was dope. Mm -hmm. But like before that, um I knew Nas from the Lauren Hill song. Yep. If I ruled the world. Mm -hmm. So I was like, this dope. But when you gotta think between them times, and when Nas wasn't coming out with like nothing like that, he was right. like, you know, in and out type shit. Mm -hmm. But when Jay-Z this him on the takeover. The first song. And Nas came back with that. I said, nigga, why in the fuck would you fuck with somebody who could do some shit like this? <laughs> and nigga, I was a Jay-Z fan. Nigga, that Blueprint album, you couldn't tell me shit was yeah. wrong with that motherfucker. But if I knew Nas was going to come like that, I would have never... <laughs> Jay Z, you shouldn't have never said shit. <laughs> <laughs> Should have left it be, man. Should have left him alone, man. Yeah. But nah, that's dope. You said Holyfield is the go to boxer. Hey, man, I'm from Atlanta, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's my, that's, my, hey, Holyfield is dope because just 96 Olympic ish type stuff, yeah. right around that time. Yeah. You know, they would like, Holyfield was doing a lot of craziness back then. You know what I'm saying? He was known for having 22 kids back then. What? Yeah, yeah. Holyfield. Yeah. 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 Holyfield got like 10, what, 10? 10, 12 kids. Damn. He got a lot. He got a lot. Yeah. And and Double he was digit. and he was the first one to that big complex back in the day. Cats weren't making houses like that with yeah. bowling alleys. That was like a two hundred million dollar house. We yeah. still call it the Holy Field. The whole, house. I don't right. give a fuck who <laughs> stayed in there. Who stayed in there? You know, you know they just opened that store by where Holyfield House at. Yeah, yeah. that's what it's about Holyfield House. Talk. Yeah, they having that car that's show over at Holyfield's house. Talk. Yeah. yeah. You know, they got that car house. show, that car show over at Holyfield's house. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. No, no, Rick Rose on it. Yeah, but at Holyfield, Holyfield house. house. Holyfield house. <laughs> right. That's Holyfield. <laughs> we know what that is. You know what I'm saying? But you know, when them bosses, they going to have a lot of kids. I think George Foreman had a lot of kids. Yeah. But you got to think, because they don't, I don't think they really fuck while they training. Yeah, so when so, they get yeah, done, they ready. Them <laughs> niggas ain't pulling out. No. <laughs> no. When they what? get done, they ready. They, they, when they get out of training camp. Yeah, they, they got to fuck before they, they start back their regiment. <laughs> they with it, bro. Damn. But now you remember, shoot, Holyfield back in the day too, man. Like Tyson was known to be like at that point, everybody was like he's unstoppable. And Holyfield used to beat him. And I was a Holy, Mike Tyson fan. Holyfield I used to want Mike Tyson man. to win. Yeah. I didn't like. I didn't put too much thought into like you know Holyfield from Atlanta. Yeah, like if yeah. I was older, it would have changed. I was like, nah, Holyfield. But nigga, Mike Tyson. I think everybody was a Mike Tyson fan for. No reason. For no Sorry, reason. Because you're yeah. just knocking people out. Yeah. He's, like, he's iconic. Yeah, iconic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The but Holy no Mike Field. Tyson and Holyfield fights. Those were the fights before. Those were fights. Yeah. We could never get that type of era back, bro. Never. I think if you get the Javante versus like Devin Haney, that might be something like that. But I don't think it could. Devin, gonna, Devin might not. Nah, Devin. Devin be fighting. He, be, he throws his hands. He said, what about Devin? Can, I don't think he can handle He's Tank. Oh, no. Nah. But I don't think it could ever get to a Mike Tyson versus Holyfield like during that era. Nah. A boxer now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just that. People don't even dress up for um boxing um events no more. They don't. Like they used to wearing tuxes and all that. People not doing but that. But no, that was a different era because if you bought them seats, you knew you were gonna be on camera. These young niggas, they the promoters like, fucking yeah. it up though. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it don't That's be about the, the right fight no more. It just be about a money, money play. The money, the yeah. money play. Mm hmm. You said Braun would have won seven rings if KD stayed in OKC. Oh yeah, he would stay. If he would stayed, KD wouldn't have, um, K 
KD and, o- and Oklahoma City, they wouldn't have won no chip. At all? Nah. They wouldn't have won no chip. Even if James Harden Lee. I mean, we just, we just, we just Russ, <laughs> just Russ and KD. They wouldn't won no Bro, championship. Bro, they were so close with Golden State. Though. They wouldn't won no championship, man. And I think Bron, and then if you got, cause like they was hanging with Golden State when it was, you know, the Splash Brothers. But when you put KD on it, yeah, it was, right, it's yeah, a wrap. Like that that's why I be looking yeah. at that. That's why I'm like, come on, dog. Like I don't want to hear nobody talking about how clutch he was. When you, you, you had, you didn't have to like. You didn't have to do no heavy lifting, and I love KD. I mm-hmm. love KD. Did you ever cut him? Nah. He don't get haircuts. He don't, yeah. <laughs> Did you we, ask? We, 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 I, I, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm asking to cut. You know, he, I would love to cut KD's hair. I'd love to see what But I'm saying, do. when you was cutting uh, they hair, you ain't never say, bro, let me love you. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> How do a barber ask a nigga, like, right. who cut you? Like, yeah, you be like, hey, man, anytime you need to get fresh, hey, man, I'm available. Blah, say blah. But did you ever say that to him? Nah, he looked like he was just in the zone of just oh. staying there. So I was like, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you wolf. 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 That nigga probably you cussed you. Nigga, what? A haircut? Nah, nah. You, you good, you good. You hey, motherfucker just trying me. me. You ain't going to play me. Get him out of here, Clay. <laughs> <laughs> nigga disrespectful. What he did? At me for, at me did I want a haircut. <laughs> Starting shit. This your man, Clay? Starting this your shit. man? You trying to start some no. shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, them two. They don't get the the Warriors don't get those two if KD on that team. I, I agree. You know I agree. So then what's that put Brian at right there? So that's three in a row right there that's, for him, right? He had six. If Warriors Kyrie would two have his knee up, they would have won that If Kyrie, yeah. yeah. If Kyrie Kevin was, Kevin Love was out. Was out and too. Kevin Love yeah. was out. They, his arm got pulled out the socket. So Yeah, Celtics. Yeah. So, Warriors, so I'm like. Warriors still going to the finals without KD? Was they still gonna go? Yeah, they still gonna go. They still gonna go. That's why I said like, yeah. who else was who? and that's why I said like, even though, okay, see, Ben Burns was on fire around that time. Oh yeah, who was? And when they Lamarcus Aldridge and Kawhi was on the same. Hey, was then somebody decline. stepped on uh, Zaza. Kawhi. Zaza. 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 Yeah. yeah, he put his foot Pachula, up under Kawhi. Dirt mm-hmm. ass. Hey man, he looks the like Rockets, he, he the looked like he's on one mm-hmm. round. Rockets had, had Z- him one time. Zaza always looked like he was a part of like a a, a drug cartel. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at Nick. Like he was, it, I'm just playing the front for the family. <laughs> hey, Zaza, I kill you. I kill you. You ever watch them Narcos my... episode? You don't understand them, but yeah. you, them shit be intense. Them niggas just pull up, get the and then gun just start shooting in that bitch. Like, nigga, you should have gave that nigga what he asked for. El Chapo. <laughs> and nigga asked you what he was. Yeah. So who your favorite team now, though? Since you cut a lot of players, like, I'm you still... mentioned Dane. Still Lakers fan though, really? Yeah. Mm. So you was a Lakers fan from the start. From the start, because I didn't, you know, it's my mom. So whoever they watching on TV is who you gonna like. That's why you know, I was a Cowboy fan, and my that's dad, why I'm a Cowboys my dad fan. Because my, because you know, in Atlanta, they didn't the Fal- they weren't playing the Fal- Fox had straight up all Cowboys. It was all Cowboys they were showing. Man, Every- shout out to Marcus, man. Because <laughs> when what I it was. said this shit, niggas thought I was lying. We they didn't know. Never- we didn't know the Falcons till they started the Dirty Bird run. That's the first year started. started. doing the shit so much. That's the Damn. first year it started because we yeah. did not know. We, I'm talking I'm about down here. it was all Cowboys. And nigga, the year after, they cut their ass off again when, yep. uh, I think in 99, right before they got Vic. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because you know, like, they... Nigga, you have to have money to be shown on them TV. They weren't wasting that damn money. Damn. The game ain't no black dog. Game will be blacked Our out. game was always blacked out, so and that was crazy. you know my mom wasn't getting no tickets from there, so you know what I'm saying I was just a Cowboy fan and a yeah. Lakers fan because I did I was like I was always opposed to Jordan, you know I think he's the goat for real. I was I was like yo Damn. Magic and Magic and the uh, Lakers. I was like let's go. Nigga, well, nah, I, I used to like Mike too. Yeah. I used to like Mike, yeah. but I do like. I do get into arguments and debates about you know LeBron and Mike, and sometimes I switch up. Yeah. Because like sometimes, <laughs> you know why? Sometimes you might see a highlight, and, and you, you see that nigga might do some shit. Yeah. Oh no, man. <laughs> he jelly out of he This jelly nigga ain't is two sided, yeah. bro. It's either you're gonna take talent, or you're gonna take a legacy. If it's talent, it's Brian all day long. If it's legacy, it's Jordan. Yeah. But nigga. Mike had talent out this motherfucking world he did, too. But he also never lost the finals though. Yeah. So that and that's what they look at. But you know, we watch LeBron mean, in real time. I mean, but about that, you know, Bron Jordan never had to play like the Warriors type teams. Yeah, uh, bro. Like 
And okay, to go to the Splash finals Brothers, that many times. Straight Nobody in a row. Never gonna yeah. be like the Warriors. And that's what I'm saying. The game that's, wasn't like that. The game wasn't like that. So it's like, it's kind of hard to be like, they you know, he would have lost. Because that first one. You got first one in front of you. Yeah. Right. But then that first one against San Antonio, he, he, he dragged the raggediest team ever to play in the finals. Y'all better go look at that team. No, they was garbage for sure. That's it. I think I played on that team. <laughs> on what team? I, the Cavs. The first, the first Cavs team oh, that yeah. went to the finals. The, yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a ten day. Vergeau, yeah, look that up. Mo, I had a ten day. I had a ten day right there. And they, Bro, they had Mo Williams. Uh, your boy Boobie. Daniel Gibson. Boobie. Yeah, Booby. Nigga don't Boobie remember Daniel there. Gibson. Booby. Booby. Six oh seven. What year was that? Oh six oh seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shannon Brown, Daniel Gibson, Drew Gooden, Larry Hughes. Elgaskis. Drew Gooden, number 90. Yeah. <laughs> LeBron James, Damon Jones, Dwayne Jones, um, Scott Pollard. I don't know if that's. Scott Pavlovich. Remember him, number three? Was yeah, like, uh, Pavlovich. Yeah. David Weston. Yeah. That motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Man. So I'm like, you know, he was a young boy, you know, playing against yeah, some cats. Sure. And then he got to play against the juggernaut of KD, Steph, and Clay, and Draymond. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like. What's up? This holiday season, you might be looking for nutritious, convenient meals to keep you energized on jam-packed days. Factor. That's the only one. America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service can help you fuel up for fast breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian-approved, ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door so you don't have to go looking. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle while tracking all your holiday to-dos. Too busy with holiday plans to cook, but want to make sure you're healthy and eating well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store. And the chopping and prepping and cleaning up, gotta take the truck. Just too much stuff when you can get a healthy meal with flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor, fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. And I know because I just warmed this one up. And all you got to do is heat and enjoy. Oh, man, I can't wait. Oh, man. Here we got the buttery salmon. Oh, my, 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 my. Mmm. And the broccoli. Mmm, man. I can't wait. The place is not that hard to take off, but when you're in a rush, you want it. So this November, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes. No prep, no mess. Oh, man. Head to factormeals.com slash 85sports50 and use code 85sports50 to get 50% off. You can't beat that. I'm being on 50% of this before I finish. But head over there now. Tell them Nav Green sent you. From Broken Play. Mm. And that's 50% off. Code 85sports50 at factormeals.com. Slash 85sports50 to get 50% off. Man, warm me up another one. Yeah, so you ain't never cut Draymond up either. Nah, but I know his barber. His barber's a dope-ass dude too, man. Uh-huh. Yo, his barber was in the... um. <laughs> Yeah, his barber's cool ass dude though. Oh, he cool. Yeah, he's, yeah, he cool. I thought you said he like he dope. Oh, he cool people too. Yeah, he... listen. Sometimes it's not necessarily like your fault as the barber. You just you got what you got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you got what you got. Dude. So I can either I can get you there, hey. or we can get sometimes there. you know what I'm saying. Like, Bro, don't tell nobody I cut you. Shit. I'm gonna cut you. I, I'm gonna get you. No, I don't need no picture. Yeah, I'm, need no <laughs> I'm not saying Draymond that because Draymond, yeah, been, Draymond, saying, but you, you know, there's some guys be like. Yeah, I'm good, man. It was a pleasure meeting you, dog. Oh, yeah, it was a pleasure sure. meeting you. Hey, I know we talk about athletes and stuff. Uh, any uh, rappers and stuff you done cut up? Yeah, I cut up. Uh, I cut up Gunner. I cut up Gunner before too. For real? Yeah, man. For um, All Star Weekend, I cut up Gunner. Who else have I cut up? Cut like Nick Grant. Shout out, yeah, man, like Mark. Grant. You done made some money with that. Hey, bro. Shit. Hey, bro. I done cut a lot of folks. I done. I done. I did a lot of gospel for people too because I used to cut for Sunday Best. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I did. Show. Yeah, I did like. All the years for Sunday Best for like six straight years. So anybody from that gospel type of world, I done cut them. I done cut on TV shows, Survivor's Remorse, uh, the one that LeBron produced. Mm-hmm. Showtime. Okay. Yeah, that was the barber for the whole season. Yeah, so, uh, there was Mike Hill, oh, yeah. there was yeah. Naeem Lynn. So yeah, so I got yeah. all the comedians, you know what I'm saying? I cut all comedians, cut all the actors, you know. Shit. I, man, I ain't front. I, I, I done had a little good run, good bro. Run, bro. Good run, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? You said the Cowboys will win with a Super Bowl with that. Yeah, we can win a Super Bowl with that. Bro, I don't believe that. What we year? Can we, we can win Bro, one. It's like he don't show up against the teams that he's supposed it, to show up against. I feel like that's more that's more Mike McCarthy, though, in my mind. Bro, we, he done had two different coaches. It, it got to start being his oh. fault soon. He do. He got to do something. I think we still can beat the Eagles, though. Y'all got them on the tenth. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to that game. I'm going to that game. I know it's you. In Dallas. Hey, most niggas lie. I know you can go. <laughs> I'm going. You, that you one. can be in that motherfucker. I'll be at that one. In the box. In the box and shit with Jerry and shit. Hey man. Hey, I love. I love my team. I love how they're going. <laughs> I love how we're, we're 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 trying to get the gang together. We got a we got Jimmy. He's gonna be in the ring of honor now. Yeah. Hey. I love Jimmy. Your unpo- unpopular opinion. You said Damon Brown would have won more. Than Kyrie and LeBron. Yeah. And I'm standing on business. <laughs> <laughs> As King would say, I'm standing on business. So Dame and LeBron beat KD and the Warriors? Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. They take them. Now, hey, yeah. bro, you yeah. don't remember yeah. Portland? We, Portland used to give, give uh, yeah. the Warriors yeah. some, uh, some hard times. In the yeah. regular boys, season. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say yeah. it like this. Nah. They keep so, their ass in the playoffs. So at that time, let's say this. If you got if you got Dame first, right? Mm-hmm. Versus uh Kyrie, let's say Kyrie goes to the Blazers, Dame goes to the Cavs, right? Those first few years that they together, Dame Dame don't get hurt. So they're gonna win those first couple championships. He's cool with learning, like partnering with a cat. He ain't gonna have no, oh, this is not this used to be my team type joint. He ain't gonna have that type of energy. Mm-hmm. So they're gonna have more camaraderie. Then it's gonna be a, a destination spot. Now you're on one, three to four. You know what I'm saying? So you're not you it's not just gonna be Dame. And, and LeBron, you're going to get somebody else to help later on. Somebody. So it's like, yeah, you may have KD, but we got somebody too on that side. So a blue that's color. how I look at it. I look at it like now, that. Now, I do say, the reason why I say now, one-on-one player, I like Kyrie all day over Dame. And the reason why, because you just never know what Kyrie might do. Yeah. Right. Kyrie he got a bad. will take your ass to the cup. That nigga Kyrie got down behind that three-point line. Yeah. He just so He just so. A fascinating nigga to watch. <laughs> yeah, I like but that word. I'm on the, if I, we playing team basketball and I want to win that game, win mm. a playoff series, Dame with LeBron. Dame and Brown, man. King that nigga time. start pointing to that motherfucking wrist. Yeah. King time. Dame nigga. time. No, nigga, Dame time. Yeah, Dame time. I'm gonna let, I'll let you yeah. go, young bro. Yeah. That's easy. Because right you know there. what Brown gonna do. Brown wanna get that motherfucker and you shoot that. Three right before you pass half yeah, court. Nah, for real. Cause Damn. after Steph Curry, a better, a better shot maker don't get mentioned. Yeah. Game. Damn it. Dang, bro. I ain't thinking game, about that, but game, yeah. Game winners, you know what I'm saying? Trey, come on. Don't leave Trey. But no, Dame even no. said it. He said after yeah. Steph is me. Yeah. Yeah. It's Dame, bro. Nah, don't get me wrong, Trey gonna goddamn do that, that but Trey. Trey shoot enough for it to be that yeah. like that. Dame done. Dame done broke up probably three other teams. Like and for uh, Lamarcus Aldridge to lead a boy in Portland like that, that one, damn. that one. Sucked. You went down there to San Antonio and win shit. Right. He thought he had Kawhi though. He thought he was gonna have Kawhi. Yeah, probably. Their numbers could, are the same. Yeah, the first year he went there, they were stacked, bro. They they so had they, Tim Duncan still. He and he was hitting. So if they he numbers are the same. The, it's like the intangibles. Like yeah. Dame a leader. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dame cool. More team. Player. Dame going rap. LeBron want to LeBron want to do the EP. He want to do the EP of the album. Oh, they in the studio nigga, together now. He would have been now. Now they training together. Two, <laughs> two, yeah. two chains would have did a song with yeah. Dame. Dame you know straight. LeBron yeah. got them connects that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, do, do Everybody would. Yeah. He would have went platinum already. Sure. It would have been love. It was hey, crazy. Nah, you definitely right, bro. Alternate universe. <laughs> They, I seen somebody say when they used to go like the practices. You know, the team couldn't leave till everybody was ready. The nigga Kyrie a sit there and practice <laughs> and be holding niggas up like they supposed to get on the bus at one. He might want to practice the two. Damn, he used to take some extra shot. I forgot where I uh, saw this at. Uh, it was on some documentary, but they say yeah. he used to do shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Damn. And, I, and I, like I said, I love Kyrie though. I ain't gonna front. I love yeah, Kyrie. Like you said, Kyrie's fascinating to watch. I'll go pay a, for a ticket to go watch Kyrie. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah. And I even probably go pay to go see Kyrie play before I go see Dame. Right. But I know that Dame is gonna <laughs> win that game. So like, right. that's even why people feeling like, yo, him and uh, Giannis is gonna do something crazy in the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? Because. Mm-hmm. 
Playoff basketball gonna change a lot. Oh more. yeah, yeah, man. These mm-hmm. niggas done got older. Some of these niggas just coasting until yeah. the playoff. Mm-hmm. When the playoff, I feel like as the All Star break, Clay gonna be ready to play. Yeah, cause he know I gotta play. I'm, I'm used to playing for a long time. <laughs> yep. You so know when to turn it on. I'm gonna turn that motherfucker on when it's time. Until then, growing up, what's the one some of the best games you done seen? Like whether it was like on TV where you be like. That made you black. Because when I say this, I always think about, um, we think about like the Bulls watching Michael Jordan play on, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, certain football games. I, I think of Tennessee and the St. Louis Rams. That was a, uh, Super that Bowl. Super Bowl. Yeah, Super Bowl. That was a good Super Bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, what's yeah. some games that you watched growing up that you like, damn, this shit. You know what? That USC Texas National Championship. Ooh, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Vince Young. And Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush. Yeah, Lindell. Yeah, yeah, Lindell. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I like White. Vince Young. I was going for the black quarterback yeah. at the same time, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and you got you to gotta watch a game that got a dude named Lindell on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Lindell. Lindell, man. Come on, that's two, that's that two, boy, two words. You know what I'm saying? Lindell, Lindell. Get on Lindell. Get on in there, Lindell. You going to run that egg gap, baby. Come on, get on yeah. in there. Run that, run that ball for me, son. You know what I'm saying? So that's one. Um, the uh, Lakers, Kings, mm. uh, that rivalry was <laughs> that crazy. that rivalry that that Western Conference. Uh, I think it was either Game Seven. That Robert Ory shot. Yeah. Well, I know Chris. Oh, that was, that was the, that's the Blazers one. That was poor. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that one was one too. When it, the kickback. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Robert Ory hit one against. That was the, the Sacramento. The kickout. Oh, he had got one against Sacramento he did. too. He had, no, yeah, was game six. He did. Game uh-huh. Two of them. He did. So yeah, man, that one, and then um. Uh, Kobe's uh, last game. I remember that. 61 when, on him. Yeah, yeah. When I, was he, out, I, was I was out in the club that night. That was yeah. unbelievable. So, yeah, that those some of the games. Kobe was different. You said Kobe is who you built your game like. No, no, no. <laughs> Hell no, I couldn't do that. Oh. Baron Davis, BD. <laughs> Back in the day. Oh, B. Diddy was yeah, a fool, B. D. too. Yeah, yeah. No, we ain't going to call him B. Diddy because, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, take that back. 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 Nigga don't want to be, yeah, nigga don't want that name. We ain't going to have no music in a minute now. Yeah. Can't play R. Kelly. Can't play none of that stuff now. Damn, boy. Can't play no Puff. No, nothing. Yeah, damn. Damn, bro. They say you step down that remote. That's what I heard, bro. Damn, Renee. This is the this is the Lucius Lions, <laughs> the real deal. <laughs> Rap to Empire, dog. Man, it is the real life. Unfortunate, dog. That's Nigga. crazy. When they say the rooster has came to crow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I never heard of that shit. Country Nigga, yeah, yeah. I've Country, heard the chickens have come to hatch, but uh No, what uh, what did Malcolm X say? <laughs> and I was Malcolm X said it? No. That was on X. That was on, on X. Yeah, y'all ain't never seen. Uh, yeah, I, I seen Roosters. X. Mm-hmm. What did he say? I can't remember, but it's somewhere. Man, Roosters. look that up. It's somewhere with Marcel. Roosters. It's somewhere with Rooster. Yeah. Malcolm. <laughs> what do you want me to type? Malcolm X Rooster. Or something? Yeah, Rooster that's quote. All gotta, that's all you got to <laughs> type. Malcolm X. Google's amazing. We can find that. And when niggas see this, niggas gonna be like, okay, this nigga Nav is a jam. I don't like some old shit. Um. The Roosting Chickens of the title comes from 1963 Malcolm X speech about the John F. Kennedy assassination, which the rights activist called merely a case of chickens coming home to roost. Well, okay, it's close, <laughs> close enough. enough. There was roosters. The chickens roosters coming home chick- to roost never did make me sad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what, what, what There's some say? chicken in there. What did I say? Some the roosters crowing rooster. Crowing, yeah, <laughs> crow, yeah, rooster yeah. to crow. Rooster that's come home to crow. Hey, that's why you're supposed to quote other niggas. I would quote my damn self. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. Yeah, I feel that though. Yeah. Niggas got what I would, you know, niggas got what I was trying to do. <laughs> we got you. Feel yeah, what you said. Niggas saying? got what I was trying to do now. But no, nah, so look, Kobe and Shaq, you think that was the ultimate duo? Yeah. Think that, um, Man, I wish I'm trying to figure out if there would have ever been uh not well, nah, Scotty and Scotty and Jordan. Yeah, they got yeah. Scotty and Jordan. Because, because, perimeter duo is better yeah. than a uh big man in perimeter duo. And then cause and then like I think Scotty wasn't tripping back then. So 
or he was keeping that. Oh, he was Scotty keeping was his jealousy. He tripping now. <laughs> Scotty was tripping. He was. He was, he was, he was he, going he, home. But he wasn't going. He wasn't going at MJ for like you know what He's was going, going on. He was going at the office. office. Yeah, you know, you know, know a lot of stuff we don't know till we watch these documentaries, and then when it, we saw the last dance. <laughs> yeah. He's like, damn, yeah. Scotty had a little ego on him. That right. nigga Scotty sat out. I, you don't realize as a kid. That nigga Scotty sat out a lot of games he for sat that out money. Some games, yeah. bro. A lot. He gonna go get surgery, so right. You know what I'm saying? He's not supposed to get it, so he can't play. That old boy back then. It's chestnut checkers, man. man. That's what they say, man. But I think Jordan and Scotty will probably be the best uh, duo ever, just because of that that reason. You know what I'm saying? But Shaq and Kobe was fire, man. And, you know the reason why I asked you about the duo thing because you said you taking money over the rings. Yeah. That, you you can't you definitely can't um I've never been to a bank where they said how many rings you got <laughs> never been to a bank how many that. wins you had I've <laughs> never Georgia Power they say you know what you do get a ring you do have a ring so <laughs> you ain't got to worry about the pe- the bill yeah. this month they want that money they want that money baby you know what I'm saying I've seen cats who won championships pawn their rings for what money. money. Money over rings, baby. Especially them college players. You know, now that they yeah. get paid, but I remember college players, they got damn. Who your boy Maurice Claret? He he pawned all his shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, your boy, no, it was the quarterback. You remember the quarterback? He got he got the ta- leg tattoo from Ohio State. Oh, Who Terrell was Pryor? It? Terrell Pryor. He got he had to sit out for a while. You remember that? Why? He had to sit out because he either got like he was he was switching his jersey out for like tattoos. Oh, so yeah. his game jerseys, he was getting free tattoos. And now shit, the cats getting Bentleys, getting trucks. Yeah. Right. You saw Utah get that, them trucks? Did you see Utah get yeah, them after trucks? after losing a the game, they all got yeah, trucks. Yeah, Lamar Odom pawned his shit. Yeah, For real? Yeah, and then the fan had, like, gave it back to him or something like that. See, that one fan. Lamar was down bad. Yeah. No, Lamar, Lamar was living life. He, 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 he was up. He was up, baby. Hey, man, I, I done did it all, baby. Yeah. I done it all. When you when you reach a certain age and you get able to talk about he he could... Think about it. A nigga called Lamar Odom a lying-ass nigga. If you didn't know. Yeah. You're yeah. like, man, I played with Kobe. <laughs> you know I... I yeah, you know I, I died in a brothel, didn't you? Yeah, I, I came died back in to a brothel. Man, I fucked so many hoes, man. I died and woke back up. <laughs> that's literally like, what man, happened. Lamar be lying his man, ass off. That's yeah, literally you know what happened. That man literally died in a brothel and came back to life. Come on, man. That's that's epic life. Tell me something. Somebody so he told to... me he shouldn't do that again. Nigga, why? God gave you a second chance? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, this might be your call. <laughs> <laughs> then run it back. Yeah, you might need to reside now, nigga. Uh, crazy. Who your favorite athletes of all time? It don't matter what sport. Kobe. Uh-huh. Definitely Kobe. Um. So we argued to Jordan with LeBron. Do you, who you, who you got Kobe over Jordan or Jordan over Kobe? Oh, Jordan over Kobe. Okay. Yeah, I ain't But Kobe ain't your favorite. Okay. You but Kobe's my favorite. You oh, know what gotcha. I'm So yeah. Kobe. Um, Barry Sanders is my favorite football player of all time. Uh-huh. And then who's my favorite... Uh. That's it. Baseball player. You know what? I used to love Dion, like, because he could play every sport. So, yeah. And he was Atlanta. So it was just like Dion played for the Braves and the Falcons. So I used to, like, Dion used to be my favorite baseball player for a while, too. Even though he wasn't, like, killing, it was like, yo, he's still my favorite. Right. Yeah, the yeah. fact that he out there and <laughs> yeah, he out there it. on the team. Right. Yeah. So look, how do you feel about Colorado? I mean, I think they're gonna get it together. I know people decommitting right now. Bro, they 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 like they, they running. We, we was hyped them first three games. <laughs> Man, we was in there. Like, y'all going to Boulder? Nah, yeah, I'm going to Boulder too. Week four, they was like, all right, uh, I'm gonna try to go to the end of the season. See what happens to the USC knew, game. We just knew he was gonna make it to a bowl game. My don't let my confidence make you unconfident. And now it's hey, like, but it's some teams they should have beat. Yeah. Excuse me. That Colorado, or who they came back, uh came back and beat them in the overtime. They had step what is Stanford, that? Stanford. They they had Stanford, Stanford yeah, they had beat. Stanford beat. You remember? They was winning at oh, halftime. Yeah, yeah. And then I they had another game. Them. And then they had another game where he put up a, a post at halftime, like go to my uh go to my page and buy something. <laughs> and then they lost. What game was wow. that? What? <laughs> you don't remember that was what they were talking about over That's there? Nah. Nah. That, Shadour that, put up a, a post on his uh, story about like uh go buy my shirt or something like that. And then they lost the game at the end of the game. But 
I think they can still pull it together. Mm. I mean, shit, like they gonna get some some recruits. They're, but they have one of the I saw it the other day. They got they, like number fifty or sixty something recruiting class. Word. Like they got Colorado State is two numbers less than them. It's re- top recruiting class. Oh, they, shit. they don't have any five stars. Now, or, now I just saw this like recently. They ain't coming. Like, it's, it's trash. So nobody's coming. But he sound like he always trying to do the the transfer pool because mm-hmm. that's where all yeah, the cats the who like who, yeah who were he like, want to see cause he talking yeah. to them niggas because he's like yo you used to be a five star you recruited as a five star uh-huh. and you didn't get no playing time in Alabama because there was a five a star and now you on the bench yeah so why don't you just come on from Alabama come on, bro. Come on over here. Get you a hair cat. Get you your hair cat. Get you a Get you a hair cat. You know what I'm saying? We got you. You nigga. already know the stars gonna you know, come out. They gonna come out. The raffles. We got it, nigga. Where your mama at? Hey, mama, I love your mama. <laughs> let, you, let me let me tell you, boy. Come on out here. Baby. Dion know if he able to talk to them parents. Oh, it's over. Cause don't pay, I don't care what era you come from, you know about Prime. Your parents love your Prime. Your parents going to tell you, oh, you taking your head to Colorado. <laughs> I don't care what, uh, Saban. Uh, uh, get that Colorado. white man out of my house. <laughs> yeah, get that white man out of my house. Cause I already know how Coach Prime get him. Mm-hmm. Let me talk to you more for a minute. You do. <laughs> See, one thing about it, mm-hmm. them white coaches the don't white care. Co- <laughs> them white coaches don't care. I'm going to make sure your boy eat. Mm-hmm. Your boy ain't going to... He going to put some shoes on. going to put some clothes on. Mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure he go to church. I'm going to make sure oh, he put them he pants gonna up. he going to go to church? Oh, he going to pull them pants up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. I'm going to get you a TV in here. Yeah. You, you want to watch your boy, don't you? Don't you? We got tickets for you, yeah. baby. We got it all for you. Because mm. Prime got... You know why Prime going to win? Hold on, hold on, Prime... hold on, hold on. You need a new AC unit. <laughs> <laughs> Man... Oh, you need another battery in your day. I got you. I got another battery. He ain't changed that battery. Coach I'm Brian, a good man. Coach you know Brian what I'm saying? The Home Depot got them folks straight. Oh my got God. Got on the plane back. He, he, on, he on the back porch making a new porch for me. I got you, baby. Yeah, that's how his is. whole recruit trip going to be. Because Prime got... Prime is an old pastor too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't if y'all don't remember that a video uh, league. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. come on, come on and bless his name. <laughs> <laughs> See, is this Jamie Foxx on a prime time? This man came out, but like, you know you're gonna get that Baptist preacher out on there. You know what I'm saying? That non-denominational preacher. Yeah. <laughs> good old, good old, good old Kojic, man. So look, you, we was talking about the uh when you brought up when you in the barbershop when you was with LeBron and his people. So what what movie did you pick? Coming to America or Friday? Oh, Friday. More quotables. Coming to America. More quotables. More cult, cult, you know, cultural. I love I love uh, coming to America. It's a love story. And I wish you would have said something to Eddie about that. You know, Carlos. Man, don't do that. Man. I wish. <laughs> I know you had. I probably. I'm pretty sure you did. I'm pretty sure you did. Marcus, yeah, well, you was all right with me. No, I'm just saying, no, it's, you my people. That, you know, I'm, I'm, your, I'm the OG. I got to talk to you right, baby. Come on, baby. Man, the nigga... Better than that, nephew. Come on now. The nigga, he, he won't forget. He won't forget that. He won't forget that. He got his parents talking about it and everything, but man. Yeah. Come on now. That's that's harsh. He make sure he let his family know that he got you. to. He Wait, got I'm to. I'm lost. You know, he just, just stay come, lost, yeah. Marcel. We don't want to reiterate it. We definitely don't want to. <laughs> we gonna let it die. We gonna let yeah, that we gonna, die. Yeah, we need that to die. But don't no, definitely Friday. Definitely Friday. You know what I'm saying? Refrigerator scene, all that. Oh stuff. yeah, it's, everything. Yeah, Friday. I got Friday. Friday in my top. I got top. coming to America. Oh, yeah, well, Friday. America. What you got, Don? Friday. All day. What you got, Greg? Friday. Event. Yeah. Friday. Friday. Yeah. Friday. 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 Friday, one of the greatest movies ever made. Bro, yeah. Any genre. Chris Tucker whooped they ass all movie, <laughs> that bro. That shit was killing. Getting to the end. That shit was crazy. Stopping the car with, even, with yeah, his foot. Even when he was, <laughs> even when he was laying in the Stop bed it. in the last scene, and he said, you know I was just bullshitting. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That motherfucker yeah, went bro. out perfectly. That yeah. Shit, that was nah, we definitely got and the Friday, shout man. Out to, shout out to Chris Tucker, man. So, man, before we get out of here, is it any athletes that... You know what I mean? You looking to to goddamn barber up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to get Wimby. Wimby Yanya. What's his name? Wimby Yanya. You want to get him in there? That chair is going to be what? Yeah. lower like a mother. Oh, yeah. He got to sit on the ground. He got to sit on the ground. That nigga going to be sitting there like he praying. <laughs> like like yoga. Yoga. He's in a yoga pose. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, sit your long yeah. man down right here. Get him right, though. Yeah, Wimby. 
I think women can, got a nice strong hairline. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you can't you can't cut everybody's hair. Yeah. Because everybody be thinking that you're supposed to save folks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they can't see who have you. Cause not when you think about it, Nas fade be immaculate. Yeah. I be sweating, bro. I ain't gonna front because I cause I know the, the I know the the levity of the haircut, like people are watching it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. can't like, be... It's him and like Jalen Rose, I think. Are I cut most... Jalen before too. Yeah. Jalen um, be a lot of spray too though. Jay... But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, you know, it got there, but shouts out to all of his barbers too. Uh, Hawk, Hawk was yeah. one of his barbers. Yeah, barbers he got? Yeah, Hawk was uh, Jalen's barber too. For real? Hawk. Yeah. Now Hawk, Hawk shouts cut out to his Hawk. ass yeah. off too. Yeah, Hawk got me right. Hawk got me right too with the haircut too. You know, fresh one. Man, I remember that one... I had first started doing um Ratchet doing, People. Yeah, Ratchet People meeting. Uh Market Market was on the road a lot. You were gone a lot. Mm -hmm. And Hawk had cut my hair. Like you get a Hawk haircut. Cause you couldn't get if you couldn't get Marcus, Hawk was right. Yeah. Marcus, he'll refer you to Hawk. He'll be like, no, nah, Hawk could cut too. Yeah. Start getting that Hawk cut. But that shit couldn't, I couldn't keep doing it. I could do it, I could go back and do it now, but nigga, then that shit was. I had to contemplate. <laughs> get, this, get this haircut yeah. or pay this light bill. <laughs> oh, you what, got what's the standard cut cost? No, Dang, y'all y'all looked up strong. No, it depends on what kind of barber. I'll say that. If you want just a regular, if you don't want to look like, if you just want a regular haircut, you regular. can do like 50, 60. No beard, no, just regular haircut. Yeah, 50, 60. You know what I'm saying? So what used to be what you... You see, I don't... No, I mean, it I depends, mean, it depends, but it depends on like... Yeah, so but I mean, <laughs> that's, bro, that was when you was five, bro. Yeah. How old are you now? <laughs> like, Nigga, your mama walk you... in with $20. She going to pay for both of her boys after. <laughs> <laughs> she the walking tip. out with $20. Now, man, what the hell you want? <laughs> yeah, what you going to get? Not even a lineup, man. Because them kids be doing all this. A lineup? Them kids be doing this and stuff yeah. like that. Nah, bro, I ain't... Them I ain't young kids, no they be wanting them kids. They have temps and all that. Faded, hard, strong. Like, so 50 regular haircut. With a beard. Like, yeah. How much with a beard? Cut like, a beard. Like, how much? I, okay, I charge 200 That's the start off that. So I charge what I charge, and then there's other barbers <laughs> who charge what they charge, and then there's other barbers who charge what they charge. Right. It's like, but you can get just as nice of a barber who's paying 50 you know, paying 50 True. You know what I'm saying? You may but not get a whole bunch of hair. it ain't even about that. Nigga want to say, boy, I went to Marcus Harvey. Yeah, I'm cool. a bucket list officer. Yeah, they, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a, niggas do it for the name. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. I'm, Hey, I worked hard. You know, there was a yeah. lot of times where I was just cutting and didn't nobody know my name. I was just mm -hmm. Nas's barber. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm Marcus, so it's, yeah, it's, it's a blessing. Sure. But Word. you know what I'm saying? Like, it just depends on what shop you're going to. If you're going to the hood shop, yeah, you can expect it to be 30, 40. Mm -hmm. If you're going to the, a suite, they're going to say, yo, I need 60, 70, 80. If you're going to... Hey, I knew it was different for you, Marcus. When you go to your website, that motherfucker don't need... It's a... 30 minute session or an hour session. <laughs> shit. Yeah. shit. We paying for time. Paying yeah. for time. God yeah. damn it. Yeah. Nigga, he might yeah. not even finish in that 30. <laughs> hey, we done. We done at 30. <laughs> hey, bro. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Do you want to add another third? <laughs> oh. we, we at this side. Oh. We at the front line now. What, what you want to do, got, man? You want to go ahead and get that third? You could have already, you could have already nah. been fake. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I've tried for a minute. Yeah, right, that's man. Minute, I bro. respect it, man. Nah, you I earned like, that. Like though. the barber's mark because it's just yeah, it, it just changes. You know, like throughout the years, it's gone up, gone up. Like who, it's, made, who it's, sets that price throughout the years? No, I think it's more so because like. Barber, okay, and then also you gotta think about this too. Everybody's a content creator, right? Mm -hmm. So Arab, all of y'all are always on camera. All y'all want to be on, you know, your Instagram. You, you always want to look fresh. So a haircut is Value. more valuable mm -hmm. than it was when yo back in the day when y'all had answer machines. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Wasn't nobody sending no pictures over no phone. Right, that's true. Wasn't nobody yeah. doing none of that stuff. You weren't you weren't getting likes for how fresh you was. That's you a good doing, outlook on You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then even when you think about it, like, you go to the club, you spend $50, $60 on a drink that you're going to... That, that buzz club? going... What club you at? I'm just, $50 on a drink. Nah, it's something independent. Yeah, like, saying, like, you know them... I'm talking about even the whole bill. I'm just talking about... Oh, the bill. Even if it's the whole yeah. bill. It's throughout like... Throughout the night. Throughout yeah. the night. If it's, let's just say if it's throughout the Shit, night. Shit, no. $50, $60, $100 you paid, whatnot, it's done that night. You get a haircut. That lasts you a week and a half, two weeks. You know what I'm saying? You still can kind of like. Don't last that long. Well, no some more. of them cats, you know, they be spraying a lot of different stuff yeah. now. But like, if you got a real barber, I like, think them niggas start spraying shit to make your shit grow back. <laughs> that's a good idea, actually. Got some tonic. Got some tonic. Niggas spraying fertilizer in the <laughs> right, right, right on that line. Oh man, I don't know. It keep growing back fast. 
Nah, man, all jokes aside, man, we appreciate you yeah, stopping man. through, Marcus, just to talk sports and just knowing that you done cut some of the best athletes yes, sir. that Shots the game out. has had to have, and just your sports and knowledge, period. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, I already told you, man, you're going to be a legend one day, man, and you already started it already. Nah. This I, show is fire. I got to say this, though. Marcus called me one day, bro. I forgot where I was at. He was like, man, you need to do a podcast. I was like, why you say? Like, I, I, you know, when you listen, you like, I, man, it don't mean nothing coming, but just listen. He was like, man, I was cutting somebody hair, and he was like, he just said he would like to hear you talk. I was like, yeah, yeah. bro. But then I hung up, I'm like, nigga, Marcus called me and said that shit. <laughs> yeah, Then random. we started talking about the sports shit and the broken play, and then to know that you actually watched the show and fuck with it, that, that's just to see yeah. you see it come full circle. That's what's That's up. crazy, man. I, like I said, I seen Nav when he first with, you know, Ratchet People. I was like, yo, this dude gonna be the Martin type, you know, of our yeah. of our generation. We, he just we funny, still man. working. We still, still working, man. Working. <laughs> <laughs> we get we get to it. I ain't quit. But I know you ain't putting the uh, you ain't put the e uh, the e videos up no more because you ain't got full take of gas now. So oh um, no, not with that, bro. <laughs> I start running out of gas. I ain't. Oh, he's not playing. He's not playing yeah, the game. Shit, he's playing too much. That shit. Yeah, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. This shit getting real. It was it it two times, bro. One time when somebody recorded, like I think that's when it, with the phone shit when motherfucker recorded me and my gas ran out and somebody had to come put <laughs> them two gallons of motherfucker recorded me. <laughs> they didn't because you know people don't know the uh, everybody yeah. didn't know the joke. Yeah, nigga said. Man, you ran out of gas. <laughs> oh, hell no. Nigga, nah, he went laughing with me. That nigga laughed at me. At you, I yeah. said, never again. I'm going to at least keep $8 in the tank at, at all times. At least time. eight. <laughs> at least eight. Because they can get you far. Yeah. They far as you need to be. Yeah. I had Three exits it. down. I had that issue. I used to work at a job. They used to call me Tiggy Two Gallons, bro, because I ain't never had no gas in the car, bro. <laughs> I had money, but just stopping at the gas station. Bro, you know what? Inconvenience. Though, a lot of people... Like, it came to a point in time where, like, I think it was doing when gas had, the prices had. Shout out to $4. Ooh, went from $2 to $4. So, $4. nigga, I just put $2 in and I record. <laughs> and, you know, people, everybody started posting, like, man, I'm going through the same shit. I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Right. <laughs> it's a safe place. Yeah, this, safe place. Yeah. So then it's like, oh, I got a whole community yeah. of e drivers. <laughs> you got e drivers. But see, e -drivers. now. Yeah, so now. No electric. That would be I think I gotta left them niggas alone. Yeah, so I gotta yeah. get, get back to get it. Back get back to it, man. Get back to, it, back to your there. roots. Yeah. <laughs> they still out there. We still, still, out, there. still out there. It's hard. Yeah, but it's hard. Now, I can't run out of gas. No, nah. Nah, nah, not you. I gotta put and then go straight down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's it like, I don't even know the car no more. They be knowing it. It was that challenger, man. I blew that motherfucking fuel <laughs> pump like a motherfucker. Word. Oh, yeah. yeah, I fucked that shit up. Yeah, man. That car ain't worth it. damn. running on fumes. Damn. Yeah, that car ain't worth a damn. But no, nah, man, y'all keep tuning in. Make sure y'all support anything Marcus Harvey got going. We we get some new Ghostbusters. Oh yeah, Ghost Brothers is coming back out, man. We got some stuff on. Our I mean, YouTube. Ghost Brothers. <laughs> yeah, hey man, same thing. Feel like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we got some new Ghost Brothers stuff coming out, and um, in January we got a YouTube page coming up on that For joint. Sure. So we're gonna be doing. You still got the Clippers? Yeah, Bevel's still doing stuff. Yeah, you know what I'm saying we still doing a lot of things, man. We out here working. Follow me, you know, on my YouTube page, uh, The Marcus Harvey TV, uh, Instagram, The Marcus Harvey. And if you yeah. ever in Atlanta and you got a spell five hundred, go yeah. get your yeah. <laughs> Hey man, listen, I'm telling you, it's a bucket list option. Like, yeah. it's like one of them things like that you tell people, yeah, cut. Yeah, Harvey cut. Yeah, for sure, man. Y'all keep tuning in. Until next time. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, sir. Play. Man, appreciate it, Mark. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Appreciate you.